So I was setting up my tarp and I ran into an issue. You see I ran the tie out for the ridge line of the tarp to the tree at the head end of the hammock. So what I'm using is a Dutchware stinger that has the line attached to it permanently and then a locked brummel at the opposite end. I've strung it out as far as I can. That's all the line I have left going around the tree because it has to go to the tree and then double back. Now the advantage of doing it this way is the suspension of the hammock runs up between the lines and doesn't rub up against them, which is nice. And I just leave this permanently attached, which is also nice. I'm not messing around with an extra line. The two trees from which I've hung my hammock are about 21 feet apart. That's not excessively far for the Ridge Runner hammock. I lined up the tarp with the end of the suspension so that if it rains, because it is calling for rain tonight, the suspension will be covered and I don't have to worry about water running down the suspension into the hammock. And this is a 13 foot tarp to cover the Ridge Runner. Now, it's not quite centered, but pretty close. And I am out of line. Fortunately, I have my own line. This is a Dutch hook attached to a 12 foot piece of zing it or lash it. I get them confused. Put it around the tree on the stinger. I don't want to take the stinger off. I'll still use it. This is going to get a little confused with the line that's already on the tarp. I've run my own line from the tree back to the tarp. It's not quite centered over the suspension, so I'll have to do the same thing at the other end. But that's a lesson when using the stingers that already have the line attached. If you're using them on a tarp in conjunction with a bridge hammock, a wider spread of trees than your standard gathered end hammock, you may not have enough line.